Hi guys, welcome back to Home Crux. My name is Priya and today I am going to teach you how to make this cute poinsettia wreath for Christmas decorations. For our poinsettia wreath, we are using a grape pine wreath base, some poinsettia flowers, plaid ribbon, golden berries and some green garland. For the first step, we are wrapping the green garland around our wreath base. Simply just coil it around. Don't worry about tucking it in or pinning it down. It will hold. Make sure to leave place for the hanging twine. You can completely cover the wreath base or leave some space to insert the flowers. I'm partially covering it up and then I'm going to stick the flowers in these gaps. Moving on to the next step, we are going to insert our poinsettia flowers into these little gaps in our wreath base. You won't have to worry about gluing them down and ruining the flowers, you can use them next year as well. You don't have to be symmetrical, you can just go with your gut and add them wherever you feel like it. Just make sure that they are secured in place so they don't fall down when you hang the wreath. Also make sure that you leave some space for your ribbon at the bottom and for other stuff that you might be using I am using golden berry shake it once to see if any flowers are loose Now we are going to insert our berries. Just find any gaps and put them in there. Now that you are not gluing this stuff down, it's easier to remove and adjust them if you make any mistakes. So don't worry and go freehand. Now that we have secured our berries and flowers into the wreath base, it's time to add a bow. So I'm using a plate wired green wreath one for my wreath. You just need to fold it once on one end and the other. Twist it around to make a bow. It doesn't look much at first, but don't worry. We are going to fix it. Just pull on some ends. Make the center nice and then fluff your bow ends like this. You can cut the ends, just fold it in half and make a slanting cut. Now on the other end, now that the bow is ready, just take a little piece of twine, thread it to the back of the bow, and 
tie it into a round like this. Just make sure that it is centered. Because once you tie the thread, it will be a little difficult to move it around. Thank you.